Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe and like. Now back to the news. After a disastrous partnership with trans influencer Dylan Mulvaney that reportedly cost the brand over $1 billion in lost sales last year, Bud Light has returned to its roots. The inch toward redemption started with a 2024 Super Bowl commercial featuring Peyton Manning and Post Malone. This week, Bud Light released a new ad starring comedian Shane Gillis, and it's a full-on embrace of the brand's fratty, frivolous ethos that, for decades, turned their ads into pop culture touchstones. And dilly dilly to that. If 2023 was peak woke, 2024 will be known as the year that day died with corporations finally admitting it's all a shakedown by lefty activists. Recently, companies like Harley-Davidson, Ford, John Deere and Lowe's have all reversed course on day, thanks in large part to the work of people like Robbie Starbuck calling them out. And now we get the dean's office in which Gillis plays a college football coach standing behind a dean, who is trying to extract an admission of plagiarism out of a star player. In exchange for the stud athlete's confession, the dean presents him with a bucket of ice-cold Bud Lights. Instead, the coaxing works on Coach Gillis, his jacket reads Coach Herb, a professor and the dean himself, who stars singing like canaries. Alcoholic Canaries It's hardly the superb real men of genius franchise of late 90s and early offs, but it's fun and nostalgic. The spot is a throwback to a time when not everything was dissected through the lens of the most annoying progressive person you know. It's also an admission that Bud Light was wrong dead wrong about shedding brand DNA and disavowing its core customer to jump on the diversity, equity and inclusion bandwagon. Specifically, in partnering with Insufferable Mulvaney back in the spring of 2023. A costly move that turned the once beloved American brand into a barroom pariah and sent sales into a freefall. At the time, Mulvaney, who has nearly 10 million TikTok followers, was working with seemingly every company under the sun. Kate Spade, Alta, Nike. When the influencer posted a video in the bath with a personalized Bud Light can, it led to a fierce backlash. A boycott ensued. Bars cancelled orders. Kid Rock shot up a case. Upon further investigation, this ill-advised pivot wasn't a blipper in oversight. It was the strategy of Alyssa Heinersheed, a marketing VP who touted herself as the first woman to lead the biggest beer brand in the world. In a March 2023 interview with the Make Yourself at Home podcast, she said that she wanted to move on from the brand's fratty and out-of-touch humor and evolve and elevate. What does evolve and elevate mean? It means inclusivity, it means shifting the tone, she said. It means having a campaign that's truly inclusive and feels lighter and brighter and different. And appeals.